it's it was just a great program to work on you know i did 15 years there and 15 years that, yeah. that that is that's incredible amount of time to be playing one character it is but i mean to a lot of people that work there i think william rope's been there 56 years <laughs> this year so i was like a baby compared but yeah it was just um, an incredible experience you know i really enjoyed my time then and what a wonderful character to play in ashley do you miss him um, sometimes I do, you know, I do, I miss it. I'll always have a special place in the art, you know, because I played him for such a long time. But, um, yeah, there's, there's elements that you miss, but you can still put him in in some characters you play here and there now and again. Do you miss going into work, going that, that whole sort of family feel, I suppose? Yeah, but, you know, you still keep in touch with people, so, you know, because I spent such a long time there, I made so many good friends, um, so they're just on the other end of the phone, really. And you do yeah. still see each other? Oh, yeah, yeah, as much as I can, you know, if I'm back in Manchester or I phone people up and I see people, you know, I'll go out for dinner and have drinks with them and things. How lovely. Yeah. What was it like when you first joined? Did you think that you'd be there? That long? No, I originally went in for one episode. One? One episode, and John Savident, that played Fred, said I could use you for the next episode. Would you do another one? So I well, said, he said it. Yeah, he suggested oh, wow. me to right. to do another episode because there was a, there was some situation where he was on the phone and he could have used me in this scene. So I said yeah, and I was made up because there's another episode fee, you know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we did another episode. A week later, my agent phoned me and they offered me a three-month contract, and then. I was there for just over 15 years. Three, one day? Yeah, for 15 one day. years. Yeah, There's yeah. not many jobs that you can say that happened. No, there. no, I was oh, very how fortunate. Fantastic. How you started out is incredible, because am I right in thinking somebody came to your school and then that was it, your life just changed it that was moment? It was incredible. I was at school one day and um, my drama teacher came up to me and said, I want you to get in the assembly hall for half past ten, and I walked in there, my brother was in there about... How old were you then? I was 14, right? and there was about 40 other children, and there was a director from London, John Roberts, and a producer from America called Michelle Kamara, and, and there was auditioning for two boys in a film about George Best called This Boy's Story, and me and my real-life brother got the two lead parts in it, and it was just a massive success. We won Best Short Film at BAFTA yeah. and uh, Best Short at the Student Academy Awards, and then after that I just never stopped working. And it, you're still with the same agent that you were with then? Yeah, I've been with Barbara Pemberton now for nearly 27 years, yeah. She must yeah. know you very well. Yeah, yeah, and I know her now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, tell me about the new thing, because we were talking about Weatherfield to the West End, and you're with another ex Corey uh, actress as well. Yeah, Linda, Linda Clark, yeah. I've, I've worked with Linda on a couple of occasions. We did um, The Wizard of Oz together at Christmas, and a couple of weeks ago we've just finished um, a film about a bare-knuckle fighter called Bear, which she played my mother in. But yeah, we're doing. That hasn't this... come out yet, though, has it? No, That's... it's not out yet. No, no, it's um, it's getting edited as we speak. But yeah, we're doing this new play called Broken Strings. Um, I play the part of David, and he's just lost his wife, and he finds himself in a real surreal place, really, where he starts living with his mother-in-law, um, which isn't always a good recipe. And it's about their journey of her losing a daughter, and him losing his wife, and and their relationship. And together. their relationship, and. Is it, I mean, just two people on stage for a whole play, that's a, a heck of a lot on your shoulders. It is, but I think the good thing, I, I love doing two-handers, I try and do one a year if I can. Really? I, yeah, I, I love doing them. Um, I Why? Just, I just do, I just, I, I love doing it in small theatres as well because it's two people and like it in like an intimate space where you can just feel the audience and you feel like they're in the living room with you, you know, when you're performing. I just, I just really enjoy that. You know, it's, I, I, I get more nervous if I'm in the wings waiting to go on than being on. So if I'm on all the time, I'm absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> now, she actually showed you the play. Am I right in thinking that? Yeah, that's what happened. We did The Wizard of Oz together at Christmas and, and Linda said, um, would you like to look at this play called Broken Strings? And I read it and just fell in love with it. How you know, nice. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautifully written by um, a writer called Joe Wenborn and he's also directing it. So. Um, we started rehearsals on Monday and we're in the thick of it now, so we open on the uh, 6th of September and that oh. runs through to the 24th of September. Well, the break a leg, as they say. Good Thank luck you. with that. But also you were in a film with Johnny Vegas. Yeah, that was last year. We did that last year, feature film called um, Womble. I never actually worked with Johnny, but, yeah, he was in it and apparently he was very, very good and very, very funny. But, yeah, we did um, a feature film last year called Womble, which was a, a great character to play. He was a real... Um, rich entrepreneur that um, 
like very strange things. <laughs> Probably the safest way. Yeah, of yeah, it. yeah. That's the only way I can put it. To oh, be honest. Well, listen, congratulations on all the work that you're doing at the moment, and it was lovely to meet you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much for having Thank me. Thank you.